Hi, is the 3 and plus 1 rule the longest running computer program in the world? Not exactly, but kinda, and it has to do with the busy beaver function, named after this busy beaver. Suppose I ask you to write a very short computer program, it has to fit in this space, that runs as long as possible. Maybe you write while false loop, but I left out one condition, the program has to eventually stop. So maybe you write for i equals 1 to 10,000 print i. Now, we're going to start arguing about which font sizes and programming languages are allowed. So let's switch to Turing machine programs, which are compact, standardized, and don't have syntax errors. Here's a sample program with two states, A and B. The program starts in state A and can use this infinite blank tape to record its computations. If we're in state A looking at a blank cell on the tape, the program says, fill the cell with black, then move right, and stay in state A. Now we repeat. Hmm, it seems we're still in state A looking at a blank cell, so we again fill the current cell with black and move right. And we can easily show that this program is going to run forever, filling the right part of the tape with black cells. How about this program instead? Well, this one's going to stop after one step. Anyway, now we've got a well-formed question. Of all the two-state programs, which run one runs the longest before stopping? If we keep enumerating programs, we'll pretty quickly run into this one. Uh, first we fill with black, move to the right, but switch to state B. Now we're in state B looking at a blank cell, so we fill the cell, move to the left, and switch to state A. And we're in state A looking at a black cell, well that's something new. Looks like we leave it black, then go left into state B. Now fill this cell and go left into state A and fill this cell and go right into state B. And finally, we're in state B looking at a black cell, so we stop. That was six steps total, and no matter how many two-state programs we study, we can show that none of them beat this record. So this program is the champion. The busy beaver function records the step count for the champions of every program size. For two-state programs, BB2 equals 6. For three-state programs, BB3 equals 21. Now, people sifting through five-state programs, of which there's more than 88 million, have found one program that runs for a whopping 47 million steps before stopping. Here it is. Uh, it's easy to find programs that run longer, but so far it seems those are going to run forever. Is it possible that one of them will suddenly stop after some huger number of steps and become the new champion? Nobody knows. So let's run the current champion. Starting from state A on a blank tape, we turn that cell black move to the right into state B, then turn that cell black and move to the right into state C, and so on and so on. Uh, and eventually, after 15 steps, we're here with six black cells. Uh, and then after 47 million more steps, uh, the machine will completely stop. So what the heck does this program do besides run for 47 million steps? Well, when a person writes a program, they can tell you what it does. But nobody wrote this program. Somebody just discovered it. Now, it turns out somebody else analyzed it and found that it computes the 3n plus 1 rule. Okay, just kidding, but the answer is close. It actually computes this 3n plus 1 like rule. Uh, you start with a number n. If it's divisible by 3, replace it by 5n plus 18 over 3. If it has a remainder of 1, replace it with this, otherwise stop. The blank tape represents n equals 0, which is divisible by 3, so this rule replaces n with 18 over 3, or 6, which is represented by these six black cells on the tape. And if we keep going, the program computes this sequence, which seems like it's going to go on forever, but eventually the program hits a number with a remainder of 2, when divided by 3, so it stops. Seems like there's something fundamental about the 3n plus 1 rule and its cousins. You go looking for one thing, long-running computer programs, and you bump right into our old friends. Now, let's look back at the busy beaver function. Uh, when we look at long-running six-day programs, we find a lot of 3n plus 1 type action there, too. And people are pretty interested in nailing down exact values for the busy beaver function for n greater than 4. And here's one reason. Suppose we knew the value of BB27. Then we'd have a way to mechanically resolve long-standing mathematical conjectures like Goldbach's, which says that every even number is the sum of two primes. It turns out 
There's a 27-state program that looks for a gold bot counterexample. If it finds one, the program stops, otherwise it runs forever. So if we knew BBN, BB27, we'd just run this program until it either stopped, which would prove the conjecture false, or until it hit the BB27th step, after which we know it's going to run forever, which would prove the conjecture true. So no breakthrough in mathematics or genius mathematician would be needed. Of course, this me mechanical resolution would be too slow to run in practice, but merely knowing the values of BBN would alter the mathematical landscape. Now, instead of Goldbach's conjecture, what about the 3n plus 1 conjecture? Would some value of BBN give us a mechanical resolution of this conjecture? Well, nobody knows, and here's the reason. We can write a program that looks for a 3n plus 1 counterexample, some number m that loops back on itself. But if we pass the BBN number of steps, the program might run forever, uh, not because the conjecture is true, but because of the other kind of 3n plus 1 counterexample, some number that diverges to infinity. Could there be some other program that stops, if and only if the 3n plus 1 conjecture is false? Nobody knows. Okay, last thing. We actually can write a program that follows the trajectory of a single start number down to one and then stops. The smallest program I've heard of, viewers please correct me, uh, has 13 states. We put the start number in binary on the initial tape like this. Now in start state A, we move to the right in state I, then to the right in state J, and eventually uh, we reach a point where the tape represents the number five. So that's how we get from three to five. And then it'll go to eight, four, two, one, and stop. Is there a smaller program that follows the start number down to one and then stops? Uh, maybe you can try to make one. Meanwhile, 3n plus 1 and its cousins keep showing up in interesting places across math and computing, but their resolution remains elusive. So uh, let's keep going. See you next time.